She's a very kinky girl. You might say she's a serial killer. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Take Two Reviews. This week's Take Two Review is freaky. Um, it's from earlier this year, or late last year, and it's Stars of Pins Phone and Catherine Newton. I couldn't remember her name. Uh, her, anyways. It's Freaky Friday type premise, you know, um, trying to think of the other, there's a lot of those movies in the 80s. They weren't horror movies, they were just, you know, body switch movies. Um, but uh, this one, it's a Blumhouse movie, and I'm really iffy on Blumhouse normally, because, um, I don't know, sometimes... They get the rights to stuff and they want to redo it, you know, in a new way. And that's all well and good, you know, get it back out there. They're not always terrible at that, to, um, reboot of, um, Halloween I liked. Um, uh, yeah, and some things they do good. Other things, like Fantasy Island, it, it, it was watchable, but not great. Well, Freaky... They've actually done a decent job. Um, it's about uh, Catherine Newton's character. She's a nerd. Uh, but she's real cute. Uh, I, that's one thing that kills me in these movies. They try to make some... I know they're not going to intentionally hire a... Uh, ugly actress. Or at least ugly to the general public actress. But the people they try to make nerds and make seem uh unattractive he kind of falls on deaf ears with at least us normal people uh but you know she's the the nerd the um uh, the one nobody's interested in um and uh she's just having you know normal hard high school life for the ones that aren't popular she does have a couple of friends um, a black girlfriend and a gay, uh, guy friend, uh, and, you know, they're their own little clique and they, you know, have fun. Uh, you also find out that her father's passed on and her mother's not taking it well and her sister's not taking it well either and her sister's a cop. And then, um... I'm not going to tell you how the movie starts either, but then uh, you have Vince Vaughn's character, who is a, like, insane, recluse serial killer. Uh, and he comes upon this knife, and he doesn't know what the knife does. Uh, but, uh, anyways, in the course of events in the movie, he meets up with her. He tries to kill her with a knife, but it stabs both of them because uh, it's like an ancient Aztec knife, and they switch bodies. And then the rest of the movie is her trying to get back into her body, and him causing mortal hell in her body. Um, it feels like a early '90s or late '80s movie. Um, but in a good way. Um, the gags, the jokes, the timing is all good. Uh, it doesn't really drag. It has good jokes, but nothing that, well, I'm sure somebody will be offended by something in it because that's the country we live in. But to me, it, it went, it went fun and it was fun. Um, there's not much really I can say bad about it. And that's awesome for a Blumhouse movie because most of the time I can find something I don't like about it. Anyways, that's all I got. We'll see y'all next time for an old movie. I don't know what I'll do yet, but an older movie. Anyways, we'll see y'all then.